Yo people, welcome back. Just a disclaimer before we start, I may be sounding a bit f***ed because hay fever's been kicking the living shit out of me, but that's minor. Today we're going to be covering this sick stabilised motion effect. Basically, I'm going to show you two mini tutorials in this one video. So one, it's a bit plain and boring, but you can definitely work with it still. I'm just going to show you the basics of how to stabilise and track someone's face. And then also, for number two, it's something a little bit less boring and plain. But it's a little bit more spice for high energy music videos. So I just wanted to add that in there in case anyone is able to use that. So definitely watch both, right? It's not that long and it's definitely going to get you some sauce from both. So yeah, man, enough talk. Let's just get straight into it. All right, so trust me, this is real simple. All you're going to do is get your tracker tab up. If you don't have this already somewhere on your layout, you just go into window, go down to tracker, enable it, and then it should pop up somewhere. So give yourself enough space to work with. Now on to the next step. All right, next one, click onto your layer that you're going to be using. Then we're going to be using the stabilized motion, not any of the other ones today. All right, so next step, all you got to do is click on your layer. Then we're going to be clicking on stabilized motion. You're going to see a little track point come up. Now you're going to start tracking. For me, there is a lot that's moving around in this one. So I may have to make manual adjustments, but what's going to help me the most is looking at the parts that contrast the most. So you've got his forehead. Um, his nose kind of but the light changes there a lot so I think the best thing I'm going to go with is the hair so all I'm going to do grab the track point and just drag it up to wherever you think it'll look best then just keep messing about with it until you find something that works now these two buttons here so these are your tracking buttons it'll automatically track for you instead of you doing it manually so you can do this that goes back one frame and shows the next frame tracked if you press this one, it'll automatically do everything. If that makes sense. Look, 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 see that? See, it dropped off halfway through. So now that's where manual tracking comes in. But I'm not going to use that point. So all you're going to do, if you've made a mistake and you want to get rid of the entire thing, just press reset. Then it goes back to the center. So I'm going to use the, the middle part of the braids, right? So I'm going to bring that to the top. And let me just put the automatic tracking on, then we'll move on. You've probably been wondering why I'm moving around these boxes so much. So this outer box basically is telling the tracker where to look for whatever's within this circle. So let's say you do this little point here. It's going to be looking for this point within this range here. So adjust to your liking. I'm going to keep it like this for now. Why not? You can even leave it like normal. Doesn't really matter too much, but yeah. Okay, so my tracking did all right. And then eventually it just dropped off. That's not a problem, so we'll just fix that manually. So that's that part done, but you may come to a point and you're realising, well, what the hell was the point? Why is this taking so long? Well, if you've done enough points and you see a part where, oh, it's not moving as much now, so I think you'll be able to track itself. So all you do is go up to your adjusted part. Let's say I've just manually done all of these, but I can't be asked to do the rest. So all I'm going to do is go to the last one and just retrack it. So it's given me a bit more of an accurate result, but still nothing like what we're supposed to do. But it's helped move it away from there now. So if you're lucky and the clip ain't moving as much as mine, then you might get lucky and it will just do it itself. But yeah, if it doesn't, just manually do it. So that's my path done. So all I'm going to do now is press apply, then click on X and Y and OK. We're nearly there, you lot. We're nearly there. You should have something looking like this now. So now it's been tracked, but there's tons of empty space that we're not going to be using. So I'm going to keyframe the position and scale and then just a little bit in. I'm going to scale it up quite a bit and then move it to the center because I want his face to be the focus. So now let's see how that's looking. As you can see, there is still a little bit that is showing up. So what I'm going to do, just keep adjusting your position and scale up to where you think it's best. And now... We have no gaps. That is the track done. So if you just wanted to learn how to simply track, that's literally it. But if you want to learn how to apply this in a music video sense and add some extra little flares to it, let's move on to that now. Next thing, always add yourself some motion blur. However, you may notice that the motion blur is acting a little too much over here and it's kind of just disrupting the HD quality style thing. So all we're going to do now is cut the layer just where it starts to mess up a bit. So I'm going to say around there. Then I'm just going to take the, the um, motion blur off. That's literally what I'm going to do. So now that's the effect done with the motion blur at the start. And yeah, let's move on to the next bit. Now you're going to get your tracker that I put down in the description. You'll have something looking like this. 
Now, another little mini tutorial here is how to get rid of green screens. So you're going to be adding an effect called Key Light 1.2 or whatever version you've got. So Key Light up here, then go on to Screen Color, use this little kind of pen thing here, then just click on the background and boom, that's literally it. Now you can add a normal glow, but I'm going to add a deep glow. Again, deep glow always makes things better. Can't even argue with me about that. Just keep adjusting it until you like him. All right, next thing you're going to do is size it up and keep it in the center because remember, we've already tracked our artist on the screen, so we don't have to do any sort of movement with this whatsoever. So now we're at this stage where the track is just not looking right because it's there from the direct start and it is not on him. So all I'm going to do is do a position keyframe, just like the last one. So bring that true keyframe just to the end here where it starts. Then over here, bring it back to where it needs to be, just about there. I'm also going to add a nice little scale keyframe as well. And I'm just going to scale it down to where it looks all right, just about there. Then all I'm going to do is match it up with these two here. So I'm going to highlight those, then Shift F9, these ones as well. So now we have both highlighted. Then go into your graph editor and you'll notice that these here just need to be moved a little bit. Then once you move them, all of the movement of both the bottom clip and the top clip are now the exact same because you've altered the graph editor for both at the same time. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. But however, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to add an overlay for my pack down below. Feel free to check it out if you want, if you want to get the exact same style effect as me. But it's up to you. Yo, so all we're going to do is open a new adjustment layer, go down to the pack, and I'm using the low-key VHS, but the black and white version. Now, I want to add a bit of color into this. I'm just going to move it below the tracker. So now this is what we got. And with just one click, it instantly makes it look better. So that's the end of the tutorial. Nothing too crazy. Just something simple that you'll be able to use throughout your projects. So yeah, man. All right, then. That's another one done. Hope you lot enjoyed it. And most importantly, I hope you learned something. So yeah, man. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything else you want to see. Enough talk. Have a good day. Good night. Whatever, man. So, safe.